Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting ourselves the Slime Sling, a lovely tool, and also getting ourselves an iron bucket and getting into iron and gold mining. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right, guys, now that we're in A2, we have a lot ahead of us, and I mean a lot of stuff ahead of us. And I kind of wanted to go over a few things that I did now that I've reached H2. I basically went in MC Edit and I made sure to delete every single chunk surrounding my base. The reason I did this is because the newest update apparently had, uh, or the older updates, had some issues with uh, some of the, uh, the rare ores, or at least the ores that we're going to find in H2. Um, they're a little bit harder to find than in the new update, and the new update basically generated those chunks differently. So what I did was I deleted all the chunks that were around my base using MC Edit. Um, there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to do that if you just look up how to delete chunks. Um, and then I just loaded back the, uh, loaded back up the world and now whenever I go to those chunks again, they will uh, generate and be new again. So, uh, it doesn't reset your map or anything, it just basically redoes or regenerates all the chunks around. That's exactly what I did. Every single chunk that I had loaded, I deleted. So. Um, besides, you know, this base chunk that I'm standing in right now, but that one's not giving me any problems, so I didn't really have to worry about it. So, now that we've talked about that, let's worry about getting glass. So, I have some glass here. I don't know if just one of these, I guess after this ends up cooking all the way up, it might work. I think that'll give me one whole bucket. I think four, one piece of sand, if you, you have to break it down, you can't just throw the sand in there, unfortunately. Pretty sure sand. Oh, it might. What? It didn't look like it worked earlier. But this inside the smeltery. I guess you could just do one block of sand. Gives you molten glass. One bucket of it. And then you can cast it out. Okay. I didn't know you could do it with uh, just a block of sand. I will make sure to do that then. I was breaking it down. That takes longer. Look at that. That should go very fast. So while we wait for our glass to end up popping up, because we're actually going to need that in the quest to be able to get our prospecting tool, our new one, that should make things a lot easier when it comes to finding uh, the ore chunks. Um, yeah, we need to just take this guy. Let's just, you know, turn it into a tinker's table. Why not? Now we have a table that'll hold our inventory for, it, for us. So there you go. That's perfect. Um, not only do we get that, I think we need to make another tinker's table as well, but I kind of want to look at some of the other tinker stuff and look at what it takes to make some blank patterns. So as you can see, it takes the, um, the bark, which we can get bark anyway. I think the most efficient way though, is to get it with the saw. You can do it with the other tools, but the saw, we're going to have to be the saw anyways to make these siding wood. So that'll be something we'll have to, uh, we'll have to figure out then. We also need to make a porcelain casting table. I think we might want to get into that. Um, making a few of those. We can actually get that uh, started fairly quick. And we actually clear this out. Also, I went ahead and added a basement down here. So that way we can start working on a few other things and we can uh, have extra room. So I did build that, which wasn't too, too difficult. Let's throw this in our tools chest. We'll take the millstone and we're going to uh, grab some flint. Pretty sure I have flint laying around somewhere. Some clay and bone mill, correct? Pretty sure that's what it was. Throw all that inside the millstone. We can take this out for now. And guys, I wanted to mention this. If it does, if you guys do have a stormy night and stuff like that, if you, if you already upgraded to the windmill, um, the windmill has issues and it will actually break your gearbox. I don't know if this is affected by it, but it is, uh, the other stuff is affected by it, the windmills. So just keep that in mind. Let's see, throw that in there. There we go. That'll get us our porcelain. Right, yep, I had the right stuff. So we'll just let that do its thing and it's dropping porcelain on the ground. Awesome. Just want to make, just wanted to make sure. And then I need to get another gear. I thought I had an extra one. But I guess I don't anymore. Apparently the wood gears can be made differently. Uh, you can actually use glue. You guys made sure to let me know. 
that I can make a cauldron, and I should have already made one, so I, I don't blame you for uh, calling me out there. I should have made one. There we go. Let's get these so we can make sure we get a fire going. I'm also going to need to grab a log. Let's see, one log. Where are you at? And I'm wondering, can we use these hoppers? I think we can use these hoppers underneath this block. I mean, there's really no need to worry about it, but I think it could work. So let's throw that in there. Oh, there's there's already one in there. Low gray charcoal. Okay. So I'll take that. And we're going to find somewhere to put this. Preferably outside, since it does catch on, things on fire. Let's go ahead and place the low gray charcoal. Let's start a fire. There we go. And we can make our unfired pot thing here. Let's go ahead and get that. There we go. Unfired clay barrel. And we should be able to throw that in here. There we go. And that should turn that into a cauldron. And that's also from Better With Mods. So just keep that in mind. Also, we should have glass by now. So I'm going to go ahead and cast that out. We are going to probably set up another one of these porcelain melters, since we can get porcelain so fast now. Um, that is until we get elsewhere, because we are going to... Oh, wow. we got stuff going all over the place. That's 12 of them already. It's crazy. It's a good amount. I just want to see how many... Or what... Okay, both of those can cook them. Good. Throw those in there. And there's our cauldron. Perfect. So let's go over here. Place this guy down. And now we have a cauldron. Now there's two different types of fire that you can have underneath here. One with a bocce will change the type of flame that you have up here. So there's two different types of flames. As you can see, you have a stoked cauldron. That's what it, call it calls it when you have a different flame underneath it. So pretty cool. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can cook in here now. Um, yeah, a bunch of stuff we don't know. <laughs> that's for one. That's one thing. We can make a donut though. That requires one flour and one sugar. That makes a donut. Four donuts. That's fairly cheap. And pistons. It looks like converting pistons back to normal. That's a lot of cool recipes you could do in there. Um, but one of the things that it can do is make glue. So let's take a look in here. We do have a bunch of pelts. 17 cow pelts. I'm going to take those and throw them in there. And that's going to start producing glue. Take a look under the cauldron. You get two glue per this, per the cow pelt. Um, certain things give you different types of, uh, or different amounts of glue. Uh, rotten flesh gives you one for three. You have these regular pelts, and then you have the large pelts. And then, of course, you have wild dog. So I'm using the large belts, basically come off your different types of animals. I'm not sure if sheep is considered a large belt. Like this is pig pelt, I'm sure is not large. I think anything that's like cow size will work and buffaloes don't work as far as I know. Um, by the way, somebody was also saying there is something funny going on with this. You can basically eat it and not be hungry. Which is true. You can eat all the shark you want. And it just completely brings your saturation all the way up, even if you're not hungry. I'm pretty sure that's not intended, but it's definitely there. Okay, so now that we have glue, that's awesome. That means we can make a gear. Look at that. The gear is a lot easier to make when you do it this way. You don't have to kill all those bison. Or buffalo. However you want to call it. Alright, so bam. So now we can make gears. Just like that. So that's pretty nice. That makes making gear boxes a lot easier. And uh, if we want to make, we actually need rope. Uh, we have all the hemp fiber we could ever want. So let's go to better with mods. And we're going to make this guy. We need black quartz. I think I have black quartz stored over here that I was working with. I may have used it all. If that's the case, that or I have some in here. Okay, so I have to basically grind down more of it. 
I'm just going to grind down all of it. For right now, if I need to go back, I can go back and get some more. I'm not worried about it. Oh, this is a compressor. Over here. So let's throw that in there. We'll get that going. And uh, we'll be back. All right, so let's go ahead and get the stuff we need. As you can see, we just do this. And this will get us plenty of the bark. Just like that. Don't stick your face in it like I just did. And of course, if you're on a server, it may be a little bit slower than this, but it still works all the same. So there we go. And of course, we can take these and cut those in half. Then we can go ahead and take these and just craft them up. And look at that, we get all the blank patterns we're probably going to need for a while. Yeah, <laughs> see that's going to last us quite a while. Um, one of the first things we can make is this. And get herself a tool station. And then what I can do, kind of clear out a lot of this stuff. Just make sure to grab a log. Just like that. And we should be good. So one of those, we're going to get all the different parts that we need. Just like that. And bam. So what do we have this. Place these guys all down part builder. And that guy. Okay. So actually what I'm going to do is grab a chest. Grab a chest real quick. Drop that in there. Get a pattern chest. Open that up and throw it all down here. There we go. All of our stuff is here, ready to go. Um, so, stencil table. Put that there. And uh, now we can actually make our parts, and we could even use this if we want to, to make our, our different tools and stuff. The thing is, we don't have any iron, we don't have anything like that yet, so that is something that we need to work on, but we do have this. We do have a casting table now, which is cool. Um, I don't think I can cast to both sides, I think it only goes from the front. I could try though, I could try and make that and we'll see if this actually does work. If that works, that'd be awesome. That way I could just, you know, have both of them at my fingertips and not to worry about it. We'll, we'll find out though. We will find out. Just throw that there. Okay. So yeah, now I can make my picks and stuff. All right. So I went ahead and made all of my tools. So you guys didn't really have to watch all that, but I'll tell you what everything's made out of. Um, wood, wood. And then the top stone, uh, this top piece of stone, it's the same for all of those, um, except for the bone sword, which uh, we have uh, wood, bone, stone. And it gives you higher, if you just use stone, if you use stone, stone, wood, you're gonna get a five attack. If you use uh, stone, bone, wood, you're gonna get 6.5 attack. I did notice that these do level up, which is good. Because the more we use this, the more things are going to level up, the uh, faster our picks are going to get, and the more modifiers we're going to get later on, which is great. Um, and I think there's a Vein Miner modifier. I think it's called Vein Miner. If we try to Vein Mine with this tool, it'll tell us. Right there, Excavate modifier is what it's called. Which I'm sure is something that we don't have access to yet. Yeah. But we will eventually, so don't get don't don't worry about that. But we're gonna work on the prospecting tool. That's something else that we need to get as of right now, is our new prospecting tool for H2. So we have wood, glass, and some kind of coal, which is awesome. So the only thing I need is a piece of glass, which I did throw in here earlier. And bam! Now we have a tough dowsing rod. Sweet. All right, guys, so up above here, let me kind of show you. I do have my guides on. I kind of use them a little bit to show where my chunks were so I can kind of figure this out. But I was up here, 
And this is kind of the area where I had all the Shogoths. And uh, because I deleted the chunks, all of the monoliths and everything got deleted as well. I'm okay with that, but uh, unfortunately I'll have to respawn them if I need uh, more of the monolith stone. But uh, anyways, I have some of these samples, which I know is copper. But this looks good. This, this looks a little bit different. So this is the Cass stuff, which is tin ore. So I found this really nice uh, chunk here with uh, more tin ore and copper ore, but it's literally right next to each other. So these are some huge veins here. Let me kind of, where was the area I was digging at? Over here, where I put a torch by the front door. Uh, anyways, I was looking down and look at there. There's some good stuff right there. Um, so digging straight down here is a good thing. And also right here in this general area is a whole bunch of copper and a whole bunch of tin. So these are going to be some areas that I farm for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get that all farmed up. And I'm also going to go, I'm, I'm still on the lookout for some uh, gold. And uh, I guess that's the things that we need to look for, gold and iron. So I'm going to be able to find those somewhere in between these Y locations. You see that uh, gold is really far down. So it's we're going to pretty much have to dig all the way straight down uh, and hopefully span off in a couple of directions in the search of that stuff. So iron, not so hard. All right, guys. So I have yet to find any iron deposits so far. I did go ahead, though, and get some more tin and copper. Um, and then I also noticed that uh, we can actually make slime slings. Uh, because I was like, oh, yeah, we unlocked tinkers. And I didn't know this recipe was going to be that easy. Wow, that's nice. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Um, it's a pretty easy recipe now. And look at this. Slime sling. We have a slime sling, guys. That's super awesome. I would recommend possibly the slime boots, but I don't know what's better. The boots that let us run like a wild man or the bounciness of the slime sling because or the bounciness of the slime boots because we could probably travel faster with slime boots. I don't know. Don't know. The running is really nice with these, though. I don't know. Yeah, I, I may keep these on because I sometimes I don't like the bounciness, you know, and sometimes I'm just like, I just want to go straight to the ground and, and be able to fix that. I do like that I can jump really high, so that also helps out as well. All right, guys, so I didn't have to travel very far. I actually went and I was like, oh, I'm just going to go check around the base. Over here is the house, just right over here. And look what I found. Gold samples. Sweet. So we got a gold cluster. Um, now, I was kind of looking, trying to view where this is, because we do have a couple of clusters here. And I'm making sure that they're not in different chunks, because if that's the case, then we might have an issue. I don't think that this exactly means that there's an ore directly underneath it. I don't think so, anyways. But... Um, all I can do is mine down and see if that's the case. Of course, I will gather some stuff. And um, then I want to show you some tricks. Kind of funny, but yeah, this is not the kind of biome. This is not the kind of stuff that it said it was. This is copper. We did find copper, but we are looking for gold. Look how This is how big these veins are, by the way. You guys haven't seen that. Ooh, look at there. Yeah, this is a pretty big vein. I just kind of want to get this kind of lit up so we don't have to worry about it. Ooh. Ooh, we got one of these. Hope there's no bad guys in here. Oh, I hear one. There's a skelly. Ooh, that's a scary looking one. He had a sword. Sometimes there's chests in these trees. I'm sure they're disabled, but you know, sometimes there are chests in them. I don't know if that's the case here. Yeah, this is added by... Uh, I'm surprised he left these in here. Huh. These are added by... Uh, um, actually, additions. Strangely enough. But anyways, I'm, on, I'm still in the search for gold. So I just need to, I guess, keep digging down, possibly. And I also need to repair my tool. I did go ahead and make some of the stone sharpening kits. Highly recommend doing that. I don't recommend going without it. And now, let's see. Nothing of interest. But then again, we do need to go pretty far down. Um, 
Just the Y level is just literally that far down. Ooh, we ended up coming across clay. I'll take all that. I hope this doesn't drop us in lava. It's the only thing I was worried about. Did you guys hear that cat sound? I'm not going crazy. That was a cat sound. Yep, that's definitely a cat. I think that's added by Ender Zoo. It's the uh, witch cat. Okay, what's what's this? Nothing of interest. I can't believe I'm out of torches. Should not have went down here without torches. Hmm. Okay, so nothing here. Don't want to go that way. It got louder. I do want to kind of see. If I can find anything. Oh, oh, those monsters are in here. Oh, man, that's fun. Yeah, we should have gold somewhere in here, though. Somewhere, it's just not right in this general area. I'm going to keep looking. All right, so I sort of gave up on that area that I was testing out earlier, but I was looking over here in the swampland and come across this rock crystal sample. So, wow. Okay, so that means there's a rock crystal possibly nearby. The only problem is, oh, this is going to be really hard to find. Um, especially if it's just the, the single rock crystal. And it's in the edge of this. Oh, that's going to be hard to find. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to go searching for that right now or worry about it later. But I know I'm going to need it later. Uh, I'm, I might go searching for it. So, this was pretty awesome. I've been mining a little ways down. And look. Rock crystal. Right there. And I noticed up there there was some corallium. At least they said there was. But this was right where that crystal was sitting. So... Uh, yeah, so now I'm working my way down. Uh, I'm trying not to fall into lava. The world's been glitching a little bit, and I've kind of seen that there is lava down there. I Normally, rock crystals are near bedrock, but in this pack, I have no idea. Okay, like this. I'm probably going to die. I'm glad I have, like, a pretty large health pool, so I shouldn't technically die. But this is going to be rough if this whole way down is a lava pool. Hmm. So something interesting is going on. And, okay. So I'm guessing it's directly underneath here. Inside this lava pool. I don't know how this is working. Is there, there it is. Rock crystal right there. What a weird place for that thing to be. I really hope that it doesn't block me from getting it. Oh, I need an iron pick to be able to even mine it. That's interesting. <laughs> so at least I know so I can come back and find that thing and mine that thing up. Awesome. That's so cool. Uh, so yeah, now I get to pillar my way back out of here. Which doesn't take very long at all. Especially with these jump boots. And uh, we should be good to go. I'll be able to mine back down. Whenever I get an iron pickaxe. All right, so I've been mining for a long time, trying to figure out what this weird biome is I'm in under underground. For one thing, we'll go over that in a second. Um, but I finally found some gold, some gold ore in this direction, somewhere in this direction. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the funny thing. Um, I have no clue what this means or how far away this possibly is. But I do know that it's within this direction, this general direction. This biome is so weird, by the way. I, I don't know. There's like slime blocks over here that I noticed. I just, I don't know. So weird. Like this right here is a slime block. Like that's so interesting. I mean, I'm going to take the slime block. Don't get me wrong. Like I want that item. Because these can be crafted into actual slime balls. So I'm going to take that. <laughs> but... The fact that I found this is pretty cool. Oh, there it is. I hope this is like a bigger vein and not like some really small vein. Okay, how do we block this off? Okay, like that. 
Okay. Let's get some torches. And I guess we're going to have to start mining because... Look at that. We got some gold, guys. Um, there is something that I would recommend. Um, I don't know how much it's going to help right now. Ooh, this is a pretty big gold vein. Good. Good, good. I'm trying to get away from the water and I'll show you guys. You can set up the buffalo totem. Let me go ahead and set it up over here where it's uh, stone. Cobblestone. Oh, nope. There's the water. Maybe we can't set it up here. But uh, yeah, you can set up these totems to give you the buffalo effect. And the buffalo effect should, if I, if there's no water up here. Good, there's not. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. Make sure we get our buffalo guy out. I don't know if I have anything that can actually go in here. I'll get rid of saplings and stuff. Um, all right, so I need my cutter. This guy is going to be the base, the totem base, I'm pretty sure. And that one. So I need the, the one that's not the totem base. This is the buffalo. And I'm going to go ahead and get that one carved. And just get them all carved as you go down. And to be honest, I mean, this is very worth it. I highly recommend doing this. And then, of course, the bottom is your totem base. Which we got to get our other knife for that. I have two knives. It just makes it easier on me, so I don't have to keep rotating through them. And as you see, we have haste, too. Helps a little bit. Helps a little bit with the mining. I'm sure it'll be even better whenever we get a different tool. Um, but for right now, I mean, it helps a little bit. But yeah, man, we're gonna, I'm going to collect some of this. Hopefully I can find some iron in the same way. This is a pretty big gold vein, so it's going to be pretty nice. I'm going to collect as much as possible. All right, so I ended up finding some of this ore right here. Let's take a look at this. This, I'm pretty sure, is going to be iron clusters. Exactly. Okay, so what I need to do is mark this. Iron. And we'll set that. And then also over here, <laughs> funny enough, look what I found. Two rock crystal samples. I'm going to leave them for right now because I'm going to use those as markers whenever I come back to uh, get those once I get an iron pick. Right now, I can't really mine them. So um, I'm going to guess that this is going to be in the general center of this area. If we take a look, um, we can kind of see the border. And this is kind of in the center here. Right about here is the center. So, we're going to try and mine down here, see what we can get. I'm really hoping I find this guy not too deep down, um, and we can actually find him. Oh, there's Corallium down here. Oh, I was also wondering, can I... Okay. Take these out. Okay. So, there's nothing down here, but there is Corallium directly under us, which is kind of cool. I don't know how far down. That's the thing. Um, oh, right there. <laughs> I will take all the Corallium I can I can get. The, the definitely going in the swamp biome. I highly recommend it. You're gonna not only find a bunch of Corallium, you're gonna find the ores you're looking for as well. So yeah, definitely search here. It's gonna be well worth it. There we go. Keep mining. And hope we don't fall into lava. That's what I don't want to do. And let's see. There's still Corallium. Not finding anything yet. More Corallium. Because these are, these are, these are like veins are pretty big. So you got to keep that in mind. Oh, there's the Corallium. Aha. Oh, look at there. There's the iron. We didn't have to find it with a rod. We just come across it. How cool is that? Wow, there's a lot of Corallium here. Oh, whoa. This opens up to a huge open area. Oh, okay. I think I know what this is. Is that a tree? What do we got going on here? I guess it's just like marble floating. It's weird. Look at that. Well, we got two clusters. I haven't even got to try out the bone sword yet. Ooh, that's good. Two hits, basically. Um... Yeah, look at that. We got a cluster here and a cluster here. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to have a field day mining all this stuff up. 
Uh, like I did last time, I'm going to pop down one of those uh, haste uh, totems and get to work. I got a lot of mining to do. I should get an achievement though, or advancement whenever I get this. There we go. Iron sights. Perfect. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and mine all this then. So strange enough, I was only able to get 56 out of this, I guess, entire area. There really wasn't that much iron ore here. Kind of weird. Um, it was kind of spread out all over the place as well. And I don't know if that's supposed to be that way or maybe since iron's like a heavy crafting component, maybe it just, that's just how it is. I don't know, but I'm going to clear this out and also get as many of these I can off the top. Maybe that'll uh, never really give me what's close to 64. What do we have 60? Yeah. So not too bad. Not too bad. All right, so I'm back. The only thing I didn't go after was the lapis. I'm not too worried about that. But as you can see, we need to upgrade our melter uh, to be able to start to cook down more things. And that's going to require some lava, um, which is going to mean that we can no longer use this thing down here. <laughs> we can't use that. To uh, What we need to upgrade to is actually a porcelain tank. And so let's go ahead and make a porcelain tank just like that. So... Let's go ahead and get rid of a few things that we have on us. Don't really need that much porcelain. I do need to make a bucket. I do have a bucket on me already. I have this bucket. Um, and this is going to be one of the first things I guess we use to uh, make what I would say. Uh, it's what I'm going to use to grab some lava, but I probably need more than one. I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's go find some lava. And... Uh, you can actually see it pretty well on your map. If you take a look at your map here, you're gonna find like areas that look like they're broken up crust. Like these areas right here. These are gonna be areas that have lava in them, like areas right here. So I'm gonna jump across here and uh, go find some. All right, so perfect. I can just grab me a bucket of lava, toss it in there, and use this as a portable tank for right now. Should. It says retains liquid when broken, so it should hold it. Uh, by the way, the sling is so good for getting over gaps of water. Yeah, that helps a lot. So, very nice there. Yeah, and it, should, it doesn't even take very long to get home. I love how you get bounced around by things. But literally, the base is right there. <laughs> it takes no time at all to get over here with the sling. Uh, the uh, The small things that really do matter, you know? Man. Some of these small things just makes makes uh, makes a world of difference. Okay, so now that we have this, it does have a little bit of lava in it. We should be able to cast down this iron, um, right? It should have it has a little bit of lava in it. It it has to. Oh, I have to break the top unit. I forgot about that. You have to break this and replace it. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. Now the heat shows. Now it's working. Okay. Um, and there we go. Okay. So we're getting a little bit of iron. I have nine worth in there. That'll give us one block. And then we also need to get two gold in there because we're going to need to make a cast. Unfortunately, we can only do one at a time. Let's actually take these out. I want to do gold first. So let's put two gold in there first. We need to get a stone bucket. That should be pretty easy to make, right? Let's make a stone bucket. Look at that. And now we should be able to cast. I don't know if I can actually cast on this side. I mean, we can try, obviously, but we'll try it first. Let's see. Can we cast into this? Yes, we can. We can cast from that side. Good. So that means I can place that there. And there we go. Now we have a bucket cast, and we should be able to cast a bucket. An actual iron bucket. How much How much gold does it require? Or iron? Not much. I'm, what I'm guessing is three. Three iron. Is what it's going to require. Uh, we're going to find out. Alright, so let's give this cast a shot. Let's see. Will it give us a bucket? It looks like it, it will. Guys, we are fixing to get an iron bucket. I don't know if that's on the list here. That's a must have for me. I think we need it. <laughs> it's going to help get lava in this thing so much faster. 
Um, good. Okay. So now we're able to keep lava in there. Uh, it does talk about getting a a uh, fast farm. So a watering can. I'm guessing it probably requires an iron bucket for the watering can. Yeah. It does. And iron plates. And this fertilizer, which comes from... Oh, we get access to a compost now. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that's fixing to open up. That, that we are slowly but surely opening up. And things are getting a little bit crazy. Um, but believe me, we will eventually figure things out and get things going. This is an extended crafting. Craft the basic crafting table from extending crafting for more complex recipes. That sounds horrifying. There's our rock crystals. Um, okay, so we already found one of those. I can't wait to get into this. This is going to be very interesting. But we do need to kind of get get somewhere before I jump into here. Because I can't just jump right into that. That'll, that'll be a bad idea. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you have to... Yeah, it says even here. Tools brought through the between lands from other dimensions will not be effective. Um, you'll need to craft new tools and weapons to progress. Kind of crazy. So <laughs> we're going to have to definitely dive into there and take a look at that mod. Um, but that'll be later. And uh, I haven't seen any Endermen yet, even though it does say you'll spawn them. The funny thing is, is you have to, you have to actually make Ender Pearls with uh, the smelting over here. Everything's revolved around this Tinker smelting. <laughs> it's like all gated by it, which is kind of cool. Um, but as you can see, these are our actual progression side of things right here. We need to make the paper and we need to hop in and actually make some uh, starlight, liquid starlight. But anyways, uh, I think this has been a pretty good episode. I don't know about you guys. We got some of the materials that we're going to need for the rest of this series. Like, we're going to have to have iron. We're going to have to have gold. We're going to have to have those things. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go!